hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of t if we have 3 to the power of t minus 2 to the power of t is equals to 65 and we solve this problem for the values of t so here the very first step we are going to do is here first uh, we need to focus in the exponents of both of these terms uh, and uh, here we write it as 3 to the power of t and its whole exponent is 1 we write in this form minus this is uh, 2 to the power of t and again we write its exponent is 1 is equals to 65 and now here further in the next step here we write this 1 is equals to uh, 2 divided by 2 so that we replace both of these 1 equals to 2 over 2 so after that uh, we write this equation as 3 to the power of t and its whole power is 2 over 2 minus this is 2 to the power of t and its whole power is 2 over 2 is equals to 65 and here in the next step we apply here the nice exponential law you know about that if we have a to the power of m to the power of n it is written as a to the power of m multiplied by n so uh, in the exponent of this term you see here we have 2 over 2 so we can move this 1 over 2 inside the term uh, and it will be written as 3 to the power of t over 2 and its whole square minus from here we have this is 2 to the power of t over 2 and its whole square and this is equals to 65 and now further in the next step we convert this exponential equation into the polynomial equation with the two variables uh, so that uh, here we take the base of this term is equals to x so our x is equals to t over 2 and the base of this term is equals to y so our y is equals to 2 to the power of t over 2 so uh, when we substitute these two values of x and y into the above equation so that our above equation is written as this will becomes x square minus this will becomes y square is equals to 65 and now in the next step we apply here the nice algebraic formula you know that x square minus y square is equals to x minus y times of x plus y is equals to 65 and now uh, in the next step you see here in the left hand side we have two factors are multiplied by each other but in the right hand side we have only one factor now first we find uh, the possibilities in which the product of two numbers is equals to 65 so that uh, the possible values are 13 times of 5 is equals to 65 and 5 times of 13 is also equals to 65 1 multiplied by 65 is equals to 65 65 multiplied by 1 is equals to 65 and if we make the relation of these two factors so here we clearly say that x minus y is always less than or equals to x plus y okay so uh, here in order to remember uh, this relation we can choose uh, the possible pairs or we can choose the uh, pairs uh, which we can use here okay so if you make the relation of uh, these three pairs you see here 13 is uh, greater than 5 uh, so but here we need any two pair in which the first number is less than the second number so here first number is greater than 5 so that we rejected this case and if we compare here 5 is less than 13 so we accepted this uh, pair and 1 is also less than 65 we accepted this case and 65 is greater than 1 so we rejected this case so we have only two possible cases uh, so we can uh, make here two cases and we easily get the values of uh, first we get the values of x and y and after that we get the value of t so uh, now we write here our case number one and in case number one we compare these two factors with these two values mm, so it will be written as 
x minus y is equals to 5 and x plus y is equals to 13. So from this pair we easily get the value of x and y and now here uh, first we call this is our equation number 1 and this is our equation number 2 so that now first we can add equation number 1 and equation number 2. You see here this is minus y and plus y are cancelled out by each other and we get here x plus x is equals to 2x 5 plus 13 is equals to 18. So because we find the value of x so that's why we will divide both of the sides by 2 in order to eliminate 2 from left hand side. You see here this 2 and this 2 are gone we get here x is equals to this is 2 times of 9 becomes 18 so this is the value of x and now here we put this value of x into the uh, equation number 2 uh, and we get the value of y so equation number 2 is implies that this is equation number 2 we put this value here it will be written as 9 plus y is equals to 13 and from here we get the value of y is equals to 13 minus 9 uh, so 13 minus 9 is equals to 4 and this is the our value of y so uh, here we back substitute the values of x and y and we easily get the value of t uh, so when we put when we back substitute the value of x and you see here in the start of the problem we will take here x is equals to 3 to the power of t over 2 and y equals to 2 to the power of t over 2 so we put both of these values here and it will be written as uh, our x is 3 to the power of t over 2 is equals to 9 and we put the value of y it is 2 to the power of t over 2 is equals to 4 so here we need to uh, focus on right hand side of both of these equations uh, and here we have 3 to the power of t over 2 equals to we write this 9 as 3 square and in this case we have 2 to the power of t over 2 and we write this 4 as 2 square. So when we compare uh, the exponents of these two terms we get here t over 2 is equals to 2 and from here we get t over 2 is also equals to 2. So that from here we easily get the value of t is equals to we multiply this 2 with 2 and we will get here 4 and in this case we also get the value of t is equals to 4. So from both of these cases we will get the same value of t and that is equals to 4. And now we move uh, backward and uh, here we can again solve this equation with these two pairs. So here uh, in the second case uh, we will write here our case number 2 and in second case we compare the left hand side uh, with the, uh, these numbers so we have x minus y is equals to 1 and x plus y is equals to 65 we call this is equation number 3 and this is the equation number 4 so here we solve these two equations and we get the values of x and y first uh, so that's why we add equation number 3 and equation number 4 uh, and we will get here 2x is equals to 66 uh, and from here we get uh, the value of x is uh, for this we divide both of the sides by 2 this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and we will get here x is equals to 33 and we put this value of x into the uh, equation number 3 so equation number 3 is implies that our x is 33 minus y is equals to 1 we move minus y to the right hand side and we move this one to the left hand side it will become 33 minus 1 is equals to y and we easily get uh, the value of y is equals to 32 so here because we solve this problem for the integer uh, values of t uh, and now you see here uh, the values of x and y is not uh, the integer values uh, okay so here our x is 30 uh, x is 33 so uh, we can put back substitute the values of x and y so that the value of uh, x is 3 to the power of t over 2 equals to 33 and from this case we have uh, the value of uh, y is 
2 to the power of t over 2 equals to 32. So now again we can solve these two cases and we can easily get the values of t. So uh, here we can take the natural log on both of the sides. In order to take the log it will be written as log of 3 to the power of t over 2 equals to log of 33 and from here we have log of 2 to the power of t over 2 equals to log of 32. So here we can use the property of log and we move t over 2 in the front of this log and it will becomes t over 2 times of log 3 is equals to log 33 and here we have t over 2 times of log 2 is equals to log 32. So, from here we easily get the value of t is equals to 2 times of log 33 over log 3 and here we have t is equals to 2 times of log 32 over log 2. So, these are the other two uh, values of uh, t uh, and this is our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.